ratio. In today's lesson, we will be looking at solving some difficult ratio problems. Now, you might be wondering, how can a ratio problem be quite difficult? Well, we are going to look at questions that involve more than in the ratio problem and see if we can solve it. First of all, let's just quickly recap what a ratio is. Well, a ratio is when you compare two things. So for example, boys to girls in a class, we could say five to eight boys and girls. So boys to girls in a class is five to eight. And that means that for every five boys in a class, you are going to have eight girls. And that is a ratio. Normally we are used to answering questions with a ratio like this. You might be asked to simplify a ratio or you might be asked to divide in a ratio. So we are just going to recap dividing into a ratio because we are going to use the exact same method when looking at more than questions, which get quite difficult. So let's have a little recap of a normal ratio question, just so we can use the same skill when we are looking at more than questions. So number one, share 72 pounds in the ratio four to five. Okay, so you have 72 pounds and we're sharing it in the ratio of four to five. That means somebody's getting four parts and the other person's getting five parts. Well, how many parts am I sharing my money into then? If somebody's getting four parts and the other person's getting five parts, that's nine parts, isn't it, all together? Okay, so I'm going to draw myself nine boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And always double check. So somebody's getting four and the other person's getting five. So one, two, three, four. After four, I always kind of draw a little squiggle or a line to separate the bars. Well, I know that 72 pounds, which is my full amount, is being shared into these nine boxes. So how am I going to work out what's in one box? I'm going to do 72 divided by 9 to work out how much is in one box. So 72 divided by 9 is 8. So I'm going to do 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 and 8. So the person who's getting four parts is going to get 8 times 4, aren't they? Because 8, 8, 8, 8. Let's zoom out so we can see everything. So eight times four is 32, and the other person's getting five, so eight times five, because there's five um, boxes with the number eight in, which is 40. And that's our answer, 32 pounds and 40 pounds. And that was an example of a basic ratio question. Let's do one more to recap, and then we'll have a look at difficult questions. Share 36 pounds in the ratio um, we'll do one to three. Okay, so again, I've just gone with money. One to three, and we need to draw four boxes because somebody's getting one part and the other person is getting three parts. That's four parts all together. Okay, that represents 36 pounds. And I'm going to split between my one box and my other three boxes. Well, if 36 is being shared into four boxes, I need to do 36 divided by four, which is nine. That means each box is nine. Now, how do I know what each person got? Well, the person with one box just got nine pounds and the person with three boxes got nine times three, which is 27. And there we are, we are done. Okay, let's have a look at some more than questions then. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look. Should we say Adam and Anna share some money in the ratio two to five? However, Anna gets £45 more 
than Adam. And we want to work out how much money did Adam get. Adam got how much? Okay. So first of all, there's some money and it's being shared in two boxes and five boxes. Well, that's seven boxes, isn't it, all together? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven boxes. Okay. Draw myself the lines. Okay, one person's getting two and the other person's getting five. So we're going to split this up just so we can see. Now, Adam gets two because it's in that order. I'm going to write Adam there and I'm going to write Anna here. Okay, so now it says Anna gets 45 pounds more than Adam. Well, Adam gets two boxes. If Anna got the exact same as Adam, she would also get two boxes, wouldn't she? But she's got three more than him. So these three more boxes represent £45 because she's getting £45 more than Adam. And she's got three boxes more than Adam. So if three boxes are worth 45 how can I work out one box? So I can do 45 divided by three, can't I? to work out what one box is. And 45 divided by three is 15. So each box is 15. Okay, now it's asking you how much did Adam get? Well, that's simple now because I can do 15 at 15 or 15 times two to get 30. And that is how much Adam got. Okay. Let's have a look then at another question like this. It's just about getting your head around which boxes are you supposed to do um, your calculations with. Right, let's have a look. Let's do Sophie and James share some money. In the ratio, one to five. James gets 32 pounds more. How much money did they get? So the question has changed now. So Sophie and James share some money in the ratio one to five. So obviously Sophie's getting one part or one box and James is getting five parts or five boxes. So let's draw how many boxes we need. We need six, don't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. And like that. Split the boxes up. Well, whoever's getting one box needs a little bit of a squiggle down there because we need to separate them. And I would write Sophie at the top so I know exactly who's who and James here. Okay, so now what we need to do is that James gets £32 more. Okay, well, if Sophie and James were to get the exact same number, they would have one box each. But James has got all these boxes more than Sophie. And these boxes are worth £32 because it tells you that he gets £32 more. So what I need to do is I need to do 32 divided by 4 because I've got four boxes there, which is 8. That means each box is 8. And the question just says, how much did they get? So it's asking how much did they both get? So you would write Sophie equals 8 pounds and you would write James equals, well, I'm going to do eight times five, aren't I, which is 40. And that is how you would work that out. Okay. Let's do another example then. This is example number three of a similar sort like this. Let's say Jake and Joe 
share money. In the ratio, five to one. Jake gets 12 pound more. What did Joe get? Okay, so again, Jake and Joe, somebody's getting five boxes, the other person is getting one box. So that means we've got six boxes all together. Let's draw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So five to one, one, two, three, four, five, and one. Squiggle to separate. Jake is this one. And Joe is this one. Well, it says that Jake gets £12 more. So if they were both to get the same number of um, money, they would get one box each. But that's not the case here. Jake gets this much amount more, which is worth £12. So I need to do 12 divided by 4 to get 3, which gives me one box. And I can just write 3 in there. And the question says, what did Joe get? So Joe only gets one box, so Joe gets £3. Nice and simple. Let's do a final final um, example like this then. So we're going to say Mike and Olivia share money in the ratio seven to four. Mike gets 45 pounds more. How much money was shared? Okay, so we've got seven and four. That is 11, isn't it? So let's draw 11 boxes. Zoom out a little bit. So we fit 11 boxes on then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So seven and four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After seven, I'm just going to draw myself a squiggle. I'm going to label this one at Mike's and this one is Olivia's. Okay, so it says Mike gets 45 pounds more. Well, if they were both getting the same number, Olivia's got four, so Mike would get four as well. So one, two, three, four for Mike, but he's got these extra boxes, which is worth 45 pounds. So because these three are worth 45, I need to do 45 divided by three. Okay, 45 divided by three is 15. So it means each box is 15. So you write 15 in each box. Okay. So it tells you now how much money was shared all together. Well, you can either work at Mike and Olivia and add the money together, or I can just do 15 times 11, can't I? Because I've got the number 15 in 11 boxes. So 15 times 11 is 165. And you can work that in a variety of ways. You can either use the lattice method, you could use the long multiplication method, or you can use the grid method, whatever method you feel comfortable with, you can use that. So the answer is £165. And these were some examples of some difficult ratio questions where you have more than. So we looked at original at the start, some questions where it was using the box just to answer some simple sharing questions. But you can use this exact same method then to work out questions that have more than in them. And it becomes quite simple and quite easy. You could do this without the boxes, but obviously um, that can get quite tricky. If you do want to do it without the boxes, let's have a look here. To do that, method two, you would, whatever your value is that you've got more than, 
you will do 45 in this situation and you work out the difference between your ratio. So you do seven take away four, which is three. That's your difference. Then you will do 45 divided by three to get 15. And that will tell you one part, which is one box. And then obviously you will do 15 times whatever. It might be Mike's um, part, it might be Olivia's part, or it might be how much there is all together. In this situation, because it's how much it is all together, you will do 15 times 11, which is 165. And you can see that here, method two actually has, you know, a smaller working out space needed. And if you draw the boxes, there's a larger space that you need. Um, obviously, if you end up with a ratio like 12 to 10, you're going to struggle to draw 22 boxes, aren't you? So you might want to stick to method two and work out the difference and then divide and then times. But if you've got smaller ratios and you're okay to draw the boxes, this method is nice because it's visual and you can actually see how many boxes each person is getting. That was all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.